Now this video is a little different. It's not a movie review, it's not a DVD update, it's not a trailer review. It's a TV show review of one of my favorite shows out there at Breaking Bad. And why not do it for the final eight episodes? Now I've been watching Breaking Bad since season one through five. And I think we all can agree, every episode you watch at Breaking Bad, it's unpredictable and you're glued to every episode you watch. This season opens up is that you see a grizzled Walter White going back to his house. Down on his luck, looks like he lost everything. He goes back to his house, it looks like he has no one, nothing, all his family is gone and everything. He, look, he looks like war. It also looks like he's not going out without a fight. But usually with, with Breaking Bad with those episodes is that the introduction is always is a prelude to what happens later on in the season. So I'm kind of excited how he gets to that point. The story opens up with Hank finally realizing that Heisenberg is his brother-in-law. Now Heisenberg is Walter White, if you guys don't know who that is. He is shocked beyond belief. He plays it off at the party, oh, I'm a little sick, I can't, you know, I think it's something I ate, I have to go home, stuff like that. He much has a panic attack. And you know what, I don't blame him because you are a DEA agent. You are one of the most high-strung characters in the show and you find out that the one you've been looking for the most, the most powerful drug lord and king lord in New Mexico is your brother-in-law and you let that slip by. And pretty much hits Hank like a ton of bricks. He deals with it the best way he can and going back to old case files, go, really looking old, over case files and then and also keeping close to the chest and not letting Walter find out that he actually found out who he actually is. Which comes to a climactic ending at the end of the show which I'll talk about later. But then we get away from Hank and goes on to Walter. Now with Walter, we see him, he's living a life. He's, he's living a life. He got his, his, his purpose in life is done. He's out of the drug game. He has all the money he wants. His family's back together. He has his marriage is good. And he has a, a good, strong business going on with the car wash until, until his former partner comes back and says, you know what? I kind of need you back in because, you know, the, the business arrangement is going downhill because I'm losing a lot of I'm losing a lot of profit out of the product. And of course, I kind of look at Walter White as uh, Michael Corleone when it came to the fact that everything he gets back, everything he gets out, they put him right back in. But of course, Walter is the king, and of course he doesn't have to do anything. So he says, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm out. When I told you I'm out, I'm out. I'm out the drug game, and pretty much he can do that because. He's done what he needed to do. But what I like about this episode is that you really tell that so the subtlety of the episode that everything's about to crumble down bit by bit by bit by bit. Now we move on to Jesse. Now Jesse's one of those characters, among other characters in the show, that from season to season never stays the same. And we catch up with Jesse as he goes to get of the boy that they killed in last season and the fact that he knows Mike is dead. So with all that remorsefulness, he takes his share to the criminal lawyer and say, you know what, I want you to give it to Mike's granddaughter, and I want you to give it to the family of the kid that we killed. But of course, a criminal lawyer is not going to think like that. He's not going to say, oh, you know, that's all right, you know, I'll do it, stuff like that. No. He said, you know what, if you do this, you, you, pretty, you are setting up so many alarms right now. So since, he's a little, since the lawyer is a little worried, he calls Walter White to help fix up the situation a little bit. And as we call Walter White, we see that he is taking an IV, or he's in chemotherapy, which means that his cancer is coming back. You can kind of see that his kingdom's coming down bit by bit, like I said earlier. So Walter comes by and talks to Jesse at his house. and says, you know what, what's going on? What were you thinking? But Jesse is it's so much out of it right now. He's so depressed right now that it's not your normal type of Jesse that you see in seasons past because it just looks like he's just really done for it. In, year, in seasons past, you see that Jesse will believe Walter a little bit, but now Jesse says, look, in, in, in so many words, I know you killed Mike. I really don't believe you right now. Even though you say you didn't, I'm not falling for it anymore. I'm not the young Jesse you found me to be back in seasons past or years ago. I'm mature, but I'm going to go with it for now. But I'm not buying what you're telling me. Personally, for me, I think Jesse's gonna go. It's gonna be one of the reasons why Walter White goes downhill from there. Because Jesse is, is like for me, always has been a wild card for me. He, you never know what he's actually gonna do. 
And he does a key thing that I feel that's going to cost the whole operation to go downhill. He throws his money out like it's on doing a paper route. So it's, of course, I see that's going to be causing a lot of alarms down the line in the season. And I see that's going to bring some interested parties to the, to the fray. Now I think as fans of the show can admit, we've been all been waiting for this climactic showdown between Hank and Walter because it's always been teased before. Hank has always been so close to Heisenberg to find out who he actually is. Walter finally finds out that his book is actually missing. And he also finds out that there's a little uh, tracking device under his car. So guess what happens? The final showdown that we've all been waiting for between Hank and Walter. And Walter plays it so perfectly because he's, I, I consider this dialogue a chess match because two high strong characters who finally know who each one is going at each other and they play it perfectly like a chess match because Walter plays it like, oh, you know, I found this D, I found this tracking device and pretty much Hank goes berserk. He just punches Walter because you're a DEA agent and you just finally realize that you have the most you have the most powerful kingpin sitting in your family. So I understand why he punched him. Pretty much the conversation goes like Hank says, you know, I know who you are, put my family in danger, and stuff like that. And Walter goes, you know, I, I have cancer now, my cancer is back, you know, if you prosecute me, I'll never see the light of a prison cell. And Hank just says, I have no idea of who I'm dealing with. And then boom, game set match. Walter says, well, if you don't know who you're messing with, then I will tread lightly. I said, wow. Game, set, Matt, gauntlet, laid down, period. Now, the story begins. A great setup to what the season is about to start off for the final eight episodes. And at the beginning of the episode, you see Walter's not going down without a fight. It just looks like he's gone for broke. And I like the way the story is going so far down the final eight episodes. And for me, I think what we see at the beginning of the episode, the, the mini introduction, I think I have an idea that somebody, a key character is going to die, or if not all of them are going to die some way or fashion. That's my prediction. Or if I had to rate this show, this episode, living up to the hype that I was looking forward to for years in, this episode gets five out of five stars. So guys, let me know what you guys think of this episode. Also, let me know what do you think is going to happen down the season? Will Walter bite the dust? Will Jesse bite the dust? Will Jesse kill Walter in the meantime? So, this is my first review of the first episode of the last eight episodes of Breaking Bad. I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for next week as we review the next episode. And, until next time, Movie Nation.